on April 17th, 1977, the summer of Sam truly begins in New York City. Three blocks from the very first murder, Berkowitz fires four shots into the car of Alexander Isau and Valentina Seriani, hitting both twice and killing one. And at the scene, police found a letter addressed to Captain Joseph Borelli, head of Operation Omega. Here's what that letter said in full. I'm reading this with all spelling mistakes included. I am deeply hurt by your calling me a weeman hater. I am not, but I am a monster. I am the son of Sam. I am a little Brit. When Father Sam gets drunk, he gets mean. He beats our family. Sometimes he ties me up to the back of the house. Other times he locks me in the garage. Sam loves to drink blood. Go out and kills, commands Father Sam. <laughs> Behind our house some rest. Mostly young, raped and slaughtered. Their blood drain, just bones now. Pap Sam keeps me locked in the attic too. I can't get out, but I look out the attic window and I watch the world go by. I feel like an outsider. I am on a different wavelength than everyone else. Programmed to kill. <laughs> However, to stop me, you must kill me. Attention all police, shoot me first. Shoot to kill or else keep out of my way or you will die. Papa Sam is old now. He needs some blood to preserve his youth. He has too many heart attacks, so I'm worried for him. Oh, me hoot, it hurts, sonny boy. <laughs> I miss my pretty princess most of all. She's resting in our lady's house, but I'll see her soon. I am the quote-unquote monster, quote-unquote Beelzebub, the chubby behemoth. Well, I love to hunt, prowling the streets looking for fair game, tasty meat. The women of queens are prettiest of all. I must be the water they drink. I live for the hunt, my life. Blood for Papa. Mr. Borelli, sir, I don't want to kill anyone. No, sir. No more, but I must honor thy father, quote, unquote. I want to make love to the world. I love people. I don't belong on Earth. Return me to Yahoo's. To the people of Queens, I love you. And I want to wish you all a, a happy Easter. I do. <laughs> May God bless you in this life and the next. And for now, I say goodbye and good night. Police. Let me haunt you with these words. I'll be back. I'll be back. To be interpreted as bang, bang, bang. Ooh. Yours in murder, Mr. Monster. <laughs> so about a month after the first communication, New York Daily News columnist Jimmy Breslin received a letter from the son of Sam. The words, blood and family, darkness and death, absolute depravity, Point four four were neatly printed on the back. Didn't he Rock also? And roll! Yeah. yeah, I think there was a juggalo for life. <laughs> there was a juggalo thing in there. Technically, those aren't those all the last four stained album titles. <laughs> <laughs> it was tough to be a white guy in the nineties. <laughs> I'm looking in. No, I no. can sit there, yeah. No, no, no. Sit around, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Dan, he, David Berkowitz would have listened to a lot of stained. I think oh, he would have loved stained. I yes. think he might not have killed if he would have had stained. Mm. Inside the ugly, ugly like me. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. He really was ugly, the lead singer. He was. Well, not that ugly. <laughs> here's what the letter to David... Here's what the letter to Jimmy Breslin said, in full. Hello from the gutters at NYC. Hello, I mean it. Hi, hello. <laughs> Which are filled with dog manure, vomit, stale wine, urine, and blood. Hello from the sewers of NYC which swallow up these delicacies when they are washed away by the sweeper trucks. Hello from the cracks in the sidewalks of NYC, and from the ants that dwell in these cracks and feed on the dried blood of the dead that has seeped into these cracks. <laughs> JB, I'm just dropping you a line to let you know that I appreciate your interest in those recent and horrendous 44 caliber killings. I also want to tell you that I read your column daily, and I find it quite informative. 
Tell me, Jim, what will you have for July 29th? You can forget about me if you like, because I don't care for publicity. Oh, no, I don't care for it. However, you must not forget Donna Loria, and you cannot let the people forget her either. She was a very, very sweet girl, but Sam's a thirsty lad, and he won't let me stop killing until he gets his fill of blood. Mr. Breslin, sir, don't think that because you haven't heard from me for a while that I went to sleep. No, rather, I am still here, like a spirit roaming the night, thirsty, oh, thirsty, hungry, seldom stopping to rest, anxious to please Sam. I love my work. Now the void has been filled. Perhaps we shall meet face to face someday. Perhaps I will be blown away by cops with smoking 38. Whatever, if I shall be fortunate enough to meet you. I will tell you all about Sam, if you like, and I will introduce you to him. His name is Sam the Terrible. Not knowing what the future holds, I shall say farewell, and I will see you at the next job. Or should I say, you will see my handiwork at the next job. Remember, Miss Loria, thank you. In their blood and from the gutter, quote-unquote Sam's creation, 44 kill. Give you some new names to help you along just in case. Forward them to the inspector for use by NCIC. Quote unquote, you can call me these. The Duke of Death. The Wicked King Wicker. The 22 <laughs> Disciples of Hell. Even though I'm just one guy. John Wheaties. Rapist and suffocator of young girls. That'll be all. Wait, P.S. J.B., please inform all the detectives working the slaying to remain. PPS, JB, please inform all the detectives working the case that I wish them the best of luck. Keep them digging, drive on, think positive, get off your butts, you gotta knock on coffins, etc. Okay? Upon my capture, I promise to buy all the guys working on the case a new pair of shoes if I can get up the money. <laughs> That's very nice. 